Welcome, this is the Energy Vibration Reading for the Sagittarian Sun, Moon, and Rising. I want to say thank you for being here. Thank you for being back and thank you for the support, likes, and shares. Please like and share these videos. I want to say to each and every person, new subscribers, old subscribers, thank you for supporting my channel. And I am so happy for the support. Please remember to listen to your Sun, Moon, and Rising sign. And I want to say Merry Christmas and Happy New Year um, to all my followers in Ireland and Scotland. You are always, I'm always remembering to say it now. Um, I want to say to each and every person, please like, share these videos. And remember that this month is Christmas. Please try and give what you can give. Um, there is not a lot of materialistic aspect that is coming up for you guys in this month, but there's a lot of um, transformation with um with situation so your love relationship the people are going to be finding their twin flame and soulmate in this week which is going to be one in this month which is going to be wonderful so if you have to choose over love or money um it's going to be good for you guys in this week in this month i'm sorry um okay for you Sagittarians you have the energy of the director of energy and this is good whatever is happening in your life be aware that you're going to have more energy to deal with whatever is happening so um, all you have to do is call upon the director of energies to heal your energy vibration and to give you the strength and power in this month to go through this month because you are going to need this I'm using the slow land deck and it is a strange card some of you are going to have emotional loss some of you are going to be feeling emotional loss some of you are going to be feeling as if you're missing your family missing loved ones missing people there's going to be ends to um, um, it's just as if you're missing people as there's you know as if there's a loss in your life you're missing someone it is Christmas so it can be that you know your some family member has passed away in um, the year and you're feeling a loss some uh, maybe your fa your kids are not coming home for Christmas that sort of a thing and so that is going to transpire um this month is the month of the air energies and it's the month of beginning and this month you have to deal with the energy vibration of uh, your own birthdays happy birthday to the Sagittarians who were born um, in the month of December so that is from the 1st of December until the 21st of December so happy birthday to all you Sagittarians I forget that's your birthday month so you Sagittarians let's see and you know what I'm seeing is that in the readings for the month of December because I had to stop after the first six groups uh, I had to stop after the um, hair sign and the um, um, and the air sign and the hurt sign because it was as if the energies and it's coming back changes are happening it's as if um you can see that at the end of the year a lot of changes will be happening in your life so um do not be appalled at your reading for this month of december because trust me i was like oh whoa let me wait until the energies because in the week uh, between monday Mon a Tuesday and Thursday, the energies on this planet, it was as if, whoa, it was unbelievable. On Thanksgiving, the 23rd of December, it, the 23rd of November, on the day of Thanksgiving, that was when the energies kind of came down. It was like a portal opened up and all these negative light beams and energies were coming through this portal and i i had an effect from these sort of a thing it was like things was happening out of the ordinary and you were like what the hell is happening so let's look and see what is going to be what is happening for you no you know it's christmas a lot of people will be missing people some 
people would want to go home some people can't get to go home some families can't make it you're going to be um feeling you know you're just going to be missing um people and that sort of a thing but you know something there's a blessing that is coming in for you there's a lucky strife that is coming in for you and this is going to be good okay whatever um things negative things whatever there's a lucky strife that is coming in for you whatever you were dealing with is now come to an end whatever um negative energies and people and situation is now come to an end it was a karmatic situation that has now come to an end and you have a blessing a surprise that is coming in the surprise that is coming in is an invitation and this is going to be very very good okay so for the unicorns because i'm also using the energy of the unicorns and they have aspiration so you know whatever is happening in your life just aspire for the best just ask the universe if you're in a job you need something better ask the universe may i have a job better than the one that i'm having or something better uh, you know something that is within my energy vibration and that sort of a thing if it's a relationship ask for something better than what you have now in a relationship something that vibrates with your own energy vibration lev um, uh, um, level so aspire for something better if you're looking for a study if you're looking to change your career look for something that is going to ask the unicorns to send you and place you in that place and time for that situation that you are looking for okay so aspire for the best people always said why do you want to aspire for the best when you can just take what you if you just constantly take what you have and you don't aspire for the best in your life and aspire for what you want you will never reach and achieve anything in life so don't let people tell you yeah but you know you have all of this so why would you want to change no go for that which you want because you're ruled by the planet you are ruled by the planet of jupiter and that's one of the luckiest planets and i'm seeing a lot of sagittarians said i can't understand because if i'm ruled by jupiter why are all these things because you're dealing with a karmatic situation but yet still you are one of the luckiest sign in the zodiac so with jupiter as your ruling planets luck you are lucky and you could be going through a situation but it's because of what you have within you and how you look at other people and if you have jealousy and hatred towards other people especially if you have jealousy towards other people you block your own vibration and this is why the luck that you were born with is not flowing because you have jealousy towards other people and hatred towards other people that is what is blocking your energy vibration okay so we have a good card here because um we have a basis and this is the six and this it's, it says materialistic and spiritual prosperity so this is good because this is jupiter coming in and working with you and this is going to be wonderful this is going to be positive because when jupiter is coming in to help you this is what is going to happen you are going to have all that you need and you're going to be standing there and saying thank you for some people you need to heal your base chakra so call upon the angels and guides to touch open and activate your base chakra and by doing that your materialistic things will be coming up i'm not sure if i did the angel card angel card is archangel raphael archangel raphael is here he is saying to you guys come up you know whatever you need ask for healing for your body mind and soul ask for healing for other people ask for healing for your emotional balance call upon archangel raphael if you need um your materialistic world if you need extra help in the christmas time to get toys for the kids the grandkids whoever it is because kids are showing up in your reading so obviously there is going to be a situation if you need to um go on a trip and you don't have the financial help call upon the angel archangel raphael he's going to do this for you okay 
let's look and see the first week is an emotional week the second week is a fire week the energy of the third week is also fire this is good fourth week is emotion fourth week have a situation here that i'm going to go deeper and look at you have i think two sevens beside you know this is a three um 33 you have the number three um that is happening for you guys let me look you have number six eight nine number three 33 something has happened for you guys the ascendance masters are watching over you the number the energy of number 33 and the energy of number six is here so you have three six eight three six eight so here we go write your numbers down number three number six number eight number 33 number 66 number 88 uh, 863 um, 368 these are numbers that no one else add receive so obviously there is a message here people write your numbers down be aware of them and now we are going to be looking at the cards because you have the eight um, there's a lot of fastness that will be going on in this week a lot of fast movements that will be going on in your first week a lot of changes that will be happening in the third week of third week you need to make choices in the third week second week you're going to have things with um and there's a lot of choices that you have to make in the third week fourth week there is going to be changes okay let's go and look at your readings let's see your cards let's see what they're saying for you and this is good okay the first week you have trapped in fear whatever the situation is the first week you have trapped in fear but it's in the reverse form so if you have been ending the month of November and coming in in December trapped in in fear you need to release this okay this trapped in fear is about your soulmate or your relationship and um you need to release this because a lot of information a lot of it's as if you are scared that you might lose someone that you miss someone maybe um you are deciding to visit someone and it's not going to happen and you know you were trapped in fear end of november maybe someone came to visit you're missing this person and you're changing around the energies because you're releasing yourself from this trap and um what is happening is that here a lot of information is coming in from this person so let's say that you know someone you haven't heard from someone this person is a soulmate to you this person is either your soulmate or your twin flame because here this is coming up so this is telling you that this is a soulmate or a twin flame but this person is going to start sending you a lot of message in the first week of December and letting you know that you know I love you I'm there for you you know nothing is gonna change um, maybe we're not in the same place at the same time but the love that I have for you won't die you know whatever it is so, but and this is going to change what you're feeling the 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 the, the, the trappedness of fear so you end the month of november feeling so trapped but in the first week you're going to release yourself from the trappedness of fear it's as if you know you had been in november because it's thanksgiving so you were maybe with family you had to go home or other on the sum that you know this person left and went home and you're missing this person and you feel but this fear that you have released yourself of this fear because you know this person is going to have 
connection with you you're going to receive a lot of messages from this person and this is going to be good it can also affect people with um, work people who are looking for work and that sort of a thing because I see here the materialistic and spiritual prosperity that you know you're trying to find that perfect job that perfect connection that perfect group of people because aspiration is also here it's saying aspire for the best and you're trying to find that and you were in fair leaving in the end of November in December and now uh, you know you're releasing the entrapment of that fair you're saying I don't want to be in fair I know it's gonna happen and I aspire for the best second week a wonderful energy new beginnings for a lot of people in the second week new beginnings it's going to affect you in lot in a lot of different ways this new beginning is going to move you uh, to leave something behind and this is going to be good and a new start is coming in for a lot okay a lot of people so with this new beginning it's going to be this new beginning is as if you are leaving a situation that no longer serves you behind and a new beginning something much better that is going to come in your life the energy of a child is here playing out in this week and this could be that you are receiving a new beginning and with this new beginning it's going to be able to help you to connect to your children it's as if for some people you're getting a new job then you will have more time with the kids or you know that sort of a thing that is happening but whatever is happening is that this new beginning or this new start is going to give you a balanced relationship with your child and this is going to be wonderful and powerful this is going to be good so a lot of people uh, are going to have new beginnings in the second week so um, wonderful situation is going to happen for both you and your kids third week wonderful week you have a materialistic harvest so in the third week um, it can be money it's Christmas so gifts um, you know that sort of a thing gifts opportunities doors of opportunities are going to be opening in the third week that you weren't aware of the seven of pentacles is here so that means something new is coming in and it's also mean that if you um, need a financial help that is going to come in because um, that is going to change your financial um, your materialistic world money is going to be coming in because if you were like having just enough to go by it's going to change because something new is going to enter your life and this is good because it said materialistic harvesting so you're going to start harvesting a lot of money is going to start coming in your life which is going to be good so materialistic harvest it is the number nine energy so it's like the nine of pentacles so you have the nine of pentacles the seven of pentacles and you have this transformation coming in so let's say that you were having financial problem and that sort of a thing you have the nine of pentacles seven of pentacles so that means your world your financial world in the third week um it can be gifts but money is going to be coming into you with the nine of pentacles seven of pentacles and um um this newness um you know this is a change coming in in your materialistic world so this is going to be good for a lot of people the number the red sign it is christmas it is good so this is going to be happening for um you sagittarius in the third week it's going to be a wonderful week as um um, the ending of your new year which is the beginning of your new year and this is going to be good so you can see that good the good things you're ending the year in the second week in the second week with a new beginning because your birthday year of 2017 is just about to start and you're seeing this in the third week and in the fourth week another wonderful week because it's going to be movement choices and decision so with this new beginning that is coming in in the second week the third week you're going to be uh, collecting the materialistic harvest so you're going to collect it because that is the nine of pentacles and then in the fourth week you are going to be um there's going to be movement choices and direction so some people will be moving towards something much better some people have to make choices and some people have to make decisions and this decisions um comes up with the three of ones 
this is that you have finished something and you are about to move on to something else it could be creative endeavor but it this is as if you know you have complete um a situation in your life or you're completed yeah it's like a situation in your life and now you're about to move forward to something different this can be that some people will be going on a trip because the energy of a long uh, uh, traveling and this could be traveling as a lot of people would be going on vacation or maybe they're um, you know going to do long distance travel in the fourth week so this is going to affect a lot of people in different ways but whatever is happening is that you have to make choices and decision there's movement so there's going to be traveling um a lot of people will be traveling in the last week and this um traveling whatever is happening because um you have this energy of the three of ones it's as if something you have ended something and you're moving away from that thing and it's going to be long lasting because you're moving towards something that is much better and um, for some people it's like you're moving abroad for some people it's that like you're moving to somewhere else that is going to much, be much positive for you but you have ended something and you're about to go on a long journey to something and it could be a career also you know it could be that you finish um, you, your contract or whatever you're choosing or not that work you're choosing something another career and this career is going to be good for you this career is going to be long lasting for you because you have the you know a blessing coming in with this career and it's actually uh, a very good blessing what is happening is that it's something that you're going to be connected very good with because it's going to be a match for you. This match is going to give you a new beginning. This new beginning is going to bring changes in your life. And this change is going to be for a very long time. And it is what you need to do. So this, this is a very, very obvious. This is good. This is actually good. This is positive. Um, because it's as if you are going to be finding that which you are looking for finding that which you connected to and then that new beginning is going to happen and then changes because when a new beginning is going to happen there's going to be changes because in the second week there are two new beginnings the second week you have the zero the full going on a journey and you also have number 15 card from this deck which is the energy of the child but energy of the child is also the energy of a new beginning so this is going to be positive it's as if you're connected to this can be you connected to your mighty i am present or you connected or you balance your masculine and feminine and this is a new beginning changes are going to be happening whatever changes that is going to be happening it's going to be for a very long time and this is what you and you re you really needed to have in your life so this is actually um a very very positive um reading um the money the materialistic world which is um, materialistic obviously is the nine of pentacles and the seven of pentacles and there is going to be a very good transformation with your materialistic as well because I'm I was wondering how comes um, you guys have no money because so is money coming up in your reading and you have also the six here which is your materialistic uh, and spiritual prosperity so this is good let's look at the love situation that is happening in the lives of the sagittarians love in the first week oh my god whoa well this is good for you sagittarians i am happy you have the two most powerful love energies that is happening in the first week and a lot of you sagittarians are going to be connecting with the love of your life your twin flame your soulmates they are going to be coming in you have love upon love this is powerful because whoever you have been looking for the man of your dreams the woman of your dreams is going to be coming in in this month it doesn't have to be in the first week but 
whoever this person is they are going to be sending you messages you're going to be um, communicating there's going to be a lot of communication there is going to be you're going to feel the love radiating around you and in you so this is powerful let's look at the second second week for the Sagittarius to see what the love energy is you're balancing out <clears throat> your um, um, your emotional self this is good because um, in love you're balancing out you know your true feelings of um, you know is this really love is this what I'm looking for so this is actually going to be um, very positive you know and um, the energy of the two of Pentacles is balancing out the um, you know how you feel about a situation which is wonderful that is so let's look in the third week because changes are coming out oh my god you have the nine of cups wow your wishes and dreams are coming out about this relationship so it's true love coming in for you guys okay it's positive because you have the energy of the lovers in your love reading you're balancing out you're making sure all the all the things that you feel and want is is happening for you in this relationship this is powerful let's look in the fourth week because the third week is the nine of cups your wishes and dreams it's the man of your dream of the woman of your dream victory and success yay 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 oh my god some of you will be connecting with um someone who is over the ages of 35 and she is either a, a Taurus Virgo or Capricorn so for some of you men this is going to be the woman of your dreams this is really your soulmate this is the person that you choose to um, leave this world with meaning that this is a person that you want to spend the rest of your life with so you Sagittarius and actually Sagittarius with Capricorn people are very good because you're born in the same month and if you're a cups people which you were born five days before or after the changing of the sign and you meet someone of the same month in that thing it's a perfect match it is always a win-win situation it is always a good relationship so for you um sagittarian men who are connected to the Taurus Virgo or the Capricorns this is going to be good and I'm receiving this message that for the Sagittarius who connect with the Capricorn people it is the that relationship this relationship is the, the the soulmate relationship that you have been waiting for your entire life so this is good I'm loving this this is like one of um, it's this is I, I think one other sign got a beautiful reading where the energy of the lovers came out but the energies of the the twin flame because this is the energy of the twin flame and the soulmate especially this is the energy of the twin flame there's a lot of twin flame who are going to be finding and connecting with their partners in the month of December a lot of twin flames this is good this is positive because it's December and it's as if the universal angels and your guides are connecting you to the right people at the right time and the lovers these two cards together is one of the most powerful um, energies in a reading that means if you are doing a reading or someone is doing a reading for you if I can get these cards up um, you know that that means the angels of love are there these two cards look at them they're the most powerful powerful cards in a love reading this is a saying that if you're looking for your twin flame or soul flame if you're with someone and you feel as if you connected body mind and soul with this person it is your twin flame it is your soulmate it is your twin flame you can have a lot of soulmate but your twin flame is 
what um, is the most important relationship. So a lot of people are going to be connected in this month of December. It doesn't really matter if it's in the first week or in the second week, wherever they might fall. Because remember that you both have to be directed to the right place at the right time to meet your twin flame or soulmate. If this person is in your life, you are going to realize that, oh my God, this person has been in my life. I wasn't really aware that my best friend is my soulmate or my twin flame. And this is the month that you're going to take it to a, a higher um, vibration. Because you see the movement here of the chariot. And this is two white horses. So the universe, again, is saying to you, yes, this is the person. Yes, go for it. This is the person. And we're seeing the energy of a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn. So this is a powerful month. And, you know, research, if you're looking, because sometimes, you know, some people are going to be meeting this person. This could be someone from a different um, religious background. This could be someone from a different um, um, uh, social background. This could be someone from overseas. Whoever this person is, is as if the universe brought them in your life. Because if you look at all of what is happening here, it's as if... The universe said, you know, this person has been calling up on their soulmate and twin flame for such a long time. And especially if you are someone who um, in this lifetime vibrates with a twin flame, it is going to come to you. It's going to be the luckiest month where you're going to meet your twin flame or soulmate. Okay. This is a wonderful reading for everyone in love. There is balancing out relationship in the third week of Christmas. Your wishes and dreams are going to come through because money and love is going to be coming in for you in the third week of Christmas. This is going to be positive. You're ending the year with a good note because some of you will be traveling overseas. Some of you will be connected with this person. You, you both are going on a vacation or you're moving your relationship to um, an higher elevated state so this is good so let's look and we are looking at the zodiac energy this is a powerful um, love reading for you guys um, you guys got the best love reading so far I have another three groups to do the water sign people but you guys have, have, have had like the best love reading. Let's see what is happening for the Sagittarius Sun, Moon, and Rising who were born between the hours of 6 a.m. and 6 p.m. Let's see what is going to exactly happen for you. Who's here to support you? The Leos. This is good. So some of you Sagittarius are going to be connecting with the Leos. These um, might come in as your twin flame and your soulmate. And these Leos, um, there's going to be a lot of information coming from you Leos. You both are fire sign. This is good. So, you know, this is very helpful. Let's see who else is coming in to help the sun. Um, Sagittarians, you have the scorpions. The scorpions could be coming in as um, new beginnings, showing you a new start, helping you with new beginnings. This is very good. The scorpions could be coming in to balance out your emotional self, which is very good. They could be also coming in to balance out your materialistic um, endeavor. They are coming in to give you a new beginning in whatever way, um, whatever is happening. They're coming in um, to bring out the best in you. And this is going to be extremely good. Okay, so whatever is happening, accept the situation, what is happening. You sun, sun, um, sun raising um, Sagittarians. Let's look at the moon raising these are the people who were born between the hours of 6 p.m and 6 a.m let's see what's happening for you moon people oh my god you have um the energy the planetary aspect 
of um, the um, Saturn's um, Saturnus uh, career things are going to be taken out of your life this sort of a thing but yet still good things is coming in you know it's as if they are showing you this planet is coming to release you of things that no longer serve you so this is going to be good so let's look for the moon people and see what else is happening um, you have to deal with the cancers so you Sagittarians are going to, some Sagittarians are going to be leaving the cancers for um, the hurt sign people so if you're in a relationship with a cancer um, you are going to be leaving that relationship to connect to a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn okay so this relationship things obviously you're leaving the cancer to go and connect with the Capricorn whoa you Sagittarians whoa okay you are about to change things in your lives so this is good this is actually good this is this is this is powerful because obviously changes are coming in and these changes is in love and um some is in career you're going to find the right career you're going to be connected with the right career but for some people um, some of you Sagittarians who are with a cancer it's going to leave that cancer to go and connect with a Taurus Virgo or a Capricorn so you know this is the changing of the guards and I should say that your reading is one is one of beauty aspiration and um, the materialistic you know world so whatever um, the materialistic world is coming in aspire for the best in your life because as you aspire for the best in your life you are going to realize that good things are going to come in you guys have one of the best love readings whoever you are out there looking for your twin flame or soulmate they are going to um, appear in your life maybe you have already been with these people and wasn't aware that you were with these people but they are automatically going to you're going to automatically connect with them the third week of December is going to be one of your very very best week the third week of December buy a lottery ticket whatever a scratch a lottery whatever it is buy it. it's gonna happen for you and you know this um and, and this is why i've changed up the readings because i wanted you guys to also connect with the cards when you see them laying down and up when i'm showing you them because you can see how much things how much messages are in these cards for you so as of now you are going to be receiving your reading uh, especially your monthly readings in this format because this is much much easier uh, for a lot of people because you're going to uh, begin to connect with the energies that you're seeing here I want to say thank you so so much I want to say I love you Sagittarians and I am shouting out to the people in Ireland and Scotland and as a matter of fact to everyone but there are just special people who connect and leave their messages and send me message from Scotland and Ireland um, all you Sagittarians I should say I um, you know I can connect with Sagittarians I feel um, your vibration I really enjoy you people being in my life and I want to say thank you so much for the support in 2017 you guys have been um, one off and I'm going to give a special reading for the sign that has the most viewers for the year 2017 that sign is going to receive a very special long reading for 2018 so ladies and gentlemen thank you for being here thank you for supporting my channel thank you for being back on my channel and I want to say to each and every one of you I am sending love from my heart I'm hoping that all your wishes and dreams will come true 
and um, I'm gonna speak to you in the rest of the month Merry Christmas and um, have a wonderful Christmas and namaste until next time